All oh, right, so here's the car actually. That's pretty sad, huh? What's going on everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we're gonna talk about some things that have happened I'm gonna go show you the car that you haven't seen in a while we're gonna hop in the daily right here and talk about some things so stay tuned for a good video and I also got some new car mods to show you should be a good one let's get it all right what's going on everyone so it's been uh, quite some time since we made a video and that's pretty much because the car's been down you know which really sucks so let's talk about the car a little bit. So we came into some issues when we were about to start tuning. So pretty much it was at next level for you know a day or two and they started tuning it. Well, they were started the street tuning process to you know for the reliability and such. And they were on the first first log, first you know, tune, and they were at like 17% throttle and the car shut off. They weren't full throttle, nothing. So they couldn't figure out why. They thought it was the starter and it wasn't. So they did some more research, got into the motor, found out there was a random bolt in the motor, you know? And that was the first thing. The random bolt in the motor, for, for a while we were going back and forth, like where could this be? Next level, they do only 6th gen Camaro. I mean, not only 6th gen, but they do a lot of 6th gens. He's like, dude, I've never seen this bolt before. I don't know why it would be here. Mind you, 6th gen didn't do any of the installs, okay? So, there's a random bolt to my motor. I talked to Brett from Prey Performance, which, first off, he's my tuner, and he only sells me parts. He has none to do with installation, any of that. He's just a tuner that sells me parts. That's it. So this has nothing to do, you know, this isn't his fault or anything, but I asked him, he thought it was oil pump bolts. So we dug a little deeper, we found out it wasn't oil pump bolts. But another thing we found out is an oil pump bolt was sticking halfway out, which means it wasn't tightened properly. Then once we got digging deeper, another oil pump bolt was over tightened and cracked the oil pump, which in, I'm guessing somehow messed with the oil pressure and pretty much the motor was done. Well, not the whole motor, the crank and all that. So I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna head over to next level right now, but and I'm gonna show you the car, show you what it looks like, show you the state it's in. Much the car's gonna be staying at next level, getting rebuilt. So I, did, I really didn't wanna talk about this too much and I, I'm not gonna say who messed up. You know, I, I decided not that because they did say they would fix it. And I do respect that a lot. Now, they said they would refix it. They just got to inspect it, blah, 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 which is fine. Not a big deal. But it was to the point where if there's this many mistakes on the car, then I just truly couldn't trust them to redo it again. So shit happens mistakes happen you know what i'm saying like it, it is what it is um i will be paying out of pocket to fix it but respectfully they did say they would fix it i just didn't trust them with that so i'm not gonna say names i'm not gonna say who messed it up it wasn't me it wasn't next level it wasn't pre-performance so pretty much we ordered all the parts now and you know how it is. If, if you're taking apart a home motor, might as well put better parts on there, you know? So I got some stuff to show you in the back. 
Oh, you can't really see it right now. I got some parts to show you in the back that should get you pretty excited for this build. This is like the phase three, pretty much max effort right now. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this car to come back. I don't know when, I don't know if the parts are on back order or not. So I'm gonna come drop these parts off to next level. And by the way, if you need anything done at next level, anything, tuning, parts installed, he does pretty much everything, all cars. So hit up next level for all the work you need done. Now, no, no, no. I am, let me just say, I am so excited to get this car back. This car is gonna be a beast. And when I tell you, I know I made this post a, like a long time ago, I want a nine second car. My car is definitely capable to run nines now. Let's just say that. So pretty much we're gonna go to the next level right now and I'm gonna show you the car and you're probably not gonna see a motor in it to be honest. That's gonna be sad, but let's get to the next level. All right, y'all, we're pulling up to the next level right now. It's in the Crest Hill slash like Plainfield area. There it is, this little building right here. Pull up, go in there, make sure everything is good. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. How sad. Let's go look at the car. All right, so here's the car, actually. That's pretty sad, huh? Sitting all high. Look at those, those wheels. Whew. <laughs> Boom. There we go. No motor. At all. Damn. Brand new car. Just got this car six months ago. 10,000 miles on it. I bought it brand new with five miles. Put about 10,000 miles on it. Blown motor. We got the stocks in the back for when we were about to dyno the car. Man. It's all right, though. We'll come back better. Let me show you what we got coming. So, this right here is a missing piece of the puzzle. Mass Motorsports. We got some ported heads. The missing piece of the puzzle right here. It's really all we're missing to go nine seconds. They are beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go bring this into Joe's now. All right, so I'm about to show you the crank right now. This is my motor right here. Right there. Can you see that? That's what happened. It's all fucked up. <clears throat> so we got a new crank coming in. New oil pump. We got new heads, ported heads. That's so bad. So we won't, we pretty much won't be stock bottom end no more. We'll be uh, forged crank, higher compression. That's the motor right there. And if you need any work done, you come here. Next level, they got a dyno. Install everything. I can't show you too many cars. This is the shop I'm gonna be at for now on. Whatever you need tuning anything come here like i guess i'm not too comfortable with filming in front of people but you know that's my buddy's car as you can see camaro 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 my camaro camaro they got camaros all over he's really good with the lts any type of work you need done hit him up sorry i'm a little awkward when it comes down to filming in front of people you know still not used to that fully but he tuning obviously does full engine build so <coughs> He's definitely the guy to go to. Like I said, this is my car right here. And there's no motor, sadly. But we got forged crane coming in. Uh, hiring, upping the compression. Should be close to 14 with the new heads. Might have to fly cut, cut a little bit. This car's gonna be moving. We got a nine second car on our hands and I'm so excited for this. God, I miss this car. It's like, I don't even feel like it's mine anymore. But so as you can see, I didn't lose the car. You know, I didn't get it repoed. My high ram is in there. 
you know it's still here i did get a new license plate it says digs so that'll be pretty cool but yeah guys i just want you guys to get excited oh shit what happened here hmm that's weird hmm. either way um like i said get excited for this build because we are absolutely taking this to the absolute next level the missing piece of the puzzle was the ported heads now we got more compression different stroke this car absolutely should be moving now absolutely so stay tuned parts are on the way already this is going to be a good one you don't want to miss it subscribe to the channel like this video comment down below what you guys think what you guys think of the build because this 10 speed is going to be absolutely nasty and i'm so excited to show you guys the end uh so the goal is to have this out by december probably before that but Prey performance is having a track day and the goal is to get it to that track day in december so shouldn't be too much longer about a month or so probably less and we're gonna have the car running so thank you guys all for watching have a good one